Hi, today we will be talking about mozzarella cheese, which is a fermented dairy product. We will be going over how mozzarella cheese is produced, the science behind the starter culture, and the reagents used in order to produce a fermented dairy product. Milk is pasteurized by heating it up to 63 or 72 degrees Celsius, depending on the method used. It is then cooled back down to 35 degrees Celsius. This is when the starter culture is added to the milk. This is called the inoculation of the milk. Next, the milk is filtered to remove any precipitates. The coagulation of the milk into a solid form is done by adding a reagent to the milk, which is called rennet. The proteins are precipitated out as a liquid called whey, and the fats and minerals are in the solid curd that formed. The coagulum is then cut to separate the whey from the cheese curd. Then, the coagulum is going to be heated and stirred to further promote whey expulsion. The heat will also create an optimal condition for lactic acid bacteria growth, so more lactic acid will be produced. The cheese curds will be transferred from the vats to a draining table as seen here. This is where the whey will be drained out. Salting is one of the last steps in making mozzarella cheese. Salt is added to the cheese curds and the osmotic difference will drive more whey out of the cheese. It will also help with preservation. The knitting and pressing step in cheese making is when the cheese curds are fused together and pressed into molds as seen in this image. This will be the last step in making mozzarella cheese since there will be no aging. As mentioned previously, a starter culture is added to milk after pasteurization. The starter culture used for mozzarella production can either be a thermophilic or mesophilic culture depending on the temperature during the ferment. The lactic acid bacteria's role is to ferment lactose into lactic acid, which will create the tastes and textures associated with cheese. Starter cultures ensure that the decrease in pH from the lactic acid is done at a consistent and necessary rate to ensure that the milk coagulates properly. Overall, starter cultures are used to ensure consistent and safe end products. As previously mentioned, rennet is added to coagulate the milk. Rennet consists of a group of proteinases which cleave the casein micelles present in milk. The micelles will then aggregate together, forming a matrix initiating coagulation. Here are all the links to the pictures that were used in this animation. Thanks so much for watching!